Hello everyone, my name is John. Today I will tell you how to set up uploading new contacts from HubSpot to the Mailjet email service. This is necessary in order to automatically transfer new contacts from HubSpot to other systems. For example, in Mailjet you can add new contacts, set up email campaigns for them and interact with them in every possible way in the future. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next, you need to select the HubSpot data source system. Next, you need to choose an action. Get contacts, new. Next, you need to connect your HubSpot account to the Apex Drive system. In this window, we need to specify the API key in order to get it. Go to the HubSpot personal account. Then go to settings. Now go to the Integrations section API key. Click Show to see the API key. Copy the API key and paste it into the corresponding field in the Apex Drive system. When the required field is filled click Save. When the connected login is displayed in the list select it. There are no additional settings for the HubSpot system, so just click Continue. At this stage, you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so we also click continue. At this stage, you see data for one of your contacts, if everything suits you, click next. This completes the HubSpot data source setup. Now you need to go to the data reception settings. Choose Mailjet as the data receiving system. Next, you need to select an action. Add contacts. At this stage you need to connect your Mailjet account to the Apex Drive system. In this window, you must specify the API key and secret key. In order to receive them, go to your personal account Mailjet. Then go to Profile Settings. Now let's move on to the REST API section. API Key Management In order to see the secret key you need to reset it. Copy the API key and secret key and paste them into the corresponding fields in the Apex Drive system. When the required fields are filled click Save. When the connected login is displayed in the list, select it. At this stage, you need to select a list in which new contacts will be created for each new contact from HubSpot. Now, you see the Mailjet fields for creating new contacts. You can assign variables from HubSpot to these fields. In order to do this, click in the field and select a variable from the drop-down list. When the required fields are filled, click Continue. At this point, you see an example of the data that will be sent to Mailjet as new contacts for each new contact from HubSpot. If something does not suit you, click Edit and go back a step. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to Mailjet. After successful sending, go to Mailjet and check the result. If everything suits you, return to the Apex Drive service and continue setting up. This completes the Mailjet data reception setup successfully.
Now you need to enable auto update and select the communication interval, for example, once every 5 minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.